Hi, this is Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs and I'm here with a quick video tutorial for you today on the stitch that is shown in this dishcloth. Um, these dishcloths are really textury, which I have found a lot of people like for their dishcloths and they work up really quickly. I made um, three and a half in just a couple hours the other night. So you are going to love um, the stitch, it's really simple, but I wanted to go ahead and walk you through each step. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out some worsted weight yarn, and you're actually going, I have a J crochet hook here because I crochet tightly, but if you crochet normally, you're going to want to get an I crochet hook. And what we're going to do is we are going to chain 11. Not for the dishcloth, but just for the swatch. So if you want to just work the dishcloth along with me, go ahead and chain 31. But if you want to chain just the swatch, chain 11. And I've been talking and not counting. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work a double crochet cluster stitch, which is the same thing as a double crochet two together in the same stitch right here. So that's going to be a yarn over insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. There are three loops on your hook. Pull the yarn through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch. Pull up a loop. So now there are four loops on your hook. Pull your yarn through just the first two loops. And now pull your yarn through the remaining three loops on your hook. Then what we're gonna do in the next stitch is a plain double crochet. And we've got a little bit of bubbling, but that's okay because we want texture. So in the next stitch, we're going to work another cluster stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, pull up a loop. There are three loops on your hook. Pull your yarn through the first two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop. There are four loops on your hook, so pull through those first two loops. And now pull through all three loops. And we're just going to alternate cluster stitch, double crochet, cluster stitch, double crochet, all the way till we get to the end. So let's double crochet in that next stitch. And then we will cluster stitch in the next. Then double crochet in the next stitch. And cluster stitch in the next. And I'm going quickly because I want to get to the next row to show you what really gets us that nice texture. So I just did a cluster stitch. I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm going to cluster stitch in the very last chain. Let me walk you through one more. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the chain, pull up a loop. There's three loops on your hook. Pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain stitch, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, pull through the first two loops, there are three left, and then pull through all three loops. So we've completed our first row. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to turn our work, and we are going to work the same stitches, but we are going to work in the back and front loops. So let me show you the top of this work. So you see the Vs that you would normally work into? For the double crochet clusters, we're going to insert our hook only under the back loop. So let me show you. So under just that back loop, so you're going under there. And on the double crochet stitches, you're going to insert your hook just under the front loop. So you can see that there's two loops. You're just going to go under the front one and up through the middle, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work a double crochet cluster stitch in the back loop of that very first stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that back loop, pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the same loop, pull up a loop, <laughs> pull through the first two loops on your hook, and now pull through all three loops. And now, so that was the back loop, now we're gonna double crochet into that front loop. So we have those two loops, yarn over, insert your hook under that first loop and up through the middle, and work a double crochet. And then we're going to do a cluster stitch in the next stitch, and we're gonna work just into that back loop. So you kind of go down into the middle and out the back. So yarn over, insert your hook under that back loop, pull up a loop. There are three loops on your hook. Pull through the first two loops, 
yarn over, insert your hook under that same loop, pull up a loop, pull through those first two loops, pull through all three loops. Now we're going to double crochet under that front loop. And then we are going to double crochet two together in the back loop. And we'll just keep alternating that until we get to the end of the row. So double crochet in the front loop, double crochet cluster in the back loop, double crochet in the front loop, and then double crochet in the back loop. Oh, double crochet cluster, sorry, in the back loop. And then that's how you should finish up. I'll go ahead and work one more row with you. So we're going to chain two and we are going to double crochet two together in the back loop. So now on subsequent rows, you're kind of going to have to turn your work a little bit to find the back loop of this first stitch. So yarn over and insert your hook into that back loop and work your double crochet cluster stitch and then double crochet in the front loop. Then double crochet cluster in the back loop. And we're just gonna keep going with that until we get to the end of the row. All right, so I'm working my cluster stitch in the back loop. Then I'm gonna work my double crochet in the front loop. And then I'm gonna work my cluster stitch in the back loop. And my double crochet in the front loop. And then I'm gonna work my last, ah, can't grab my yarn. Double crochet in the back loop, cluster stitch in the back loop. And there you go. That is what your stitch will look like. And it's reversible and it's bumpy and it's got a great texture. So if you crochet loosely, you might want to go down a hook size. And if you crochet tightly like I do, you might want to go up a hook size. So if you have any questions, um, shoot me an email. It's lauren at daisycottagedesigns.net and I'll do my best to answer it. The pattern is available in my Etsy shop as well as on my blog. So I will post links to that in the description below. Hope you have a great day and happy crocheting.